Hi, Paul Hefty here with the Triangle O football system. I want to go over our no huddle structure and just give you an overview of uh, how the offense has evolved and how you can make complex, very simple, and kind of a teaching and installation progression. Let's take a look. All right, with the overview here, we first want to look at how the offense has evolved. Again, our number one goal is to take these quality concepts and try to learn ways to simplify the whole process, kind of evolve simplicity. Why we're doing this, again, it's, it's uh, based on the Penn State offense from the 2016, 17, and 18 teams. That's when they won the Big Ten Championship, and the offensive coordinator there was uh, Joe Moorhead. So that's kind of the version we're using as the foundation. And then, obviously, uh, as Joe's moved on, we've studied him as he went to Mississippi State, Oregon, and now just took the Akron job. We're also looking at the coordinators that have come here after that to this current year. It's simple and sound. It adapts easily to all levels. This is why we're using it. You're gonna see that the foundation is a one back uh, uh, shotgun system where you're just gonna use two by two and three by one sets. It's blitz beater focused. Again, you can beat the blitz just using your core concepts but it can also then create explosive plays, which is imperative in today's offensive systems. What we're doing is a no huddle one back shotgun system that has H back offensive sets. And again, these are from the 2016 Penn State alignments and terminology uh, from the Joe Moorhead version. We're gonna use only four blocking families and then we'll package that with core RPO pass concepts. So if we minimize the concepts, we can help master those techniques. And then three, there's three ways to run your RPOs. We can do a traditional run with it. We can do a true RPO read, or we can do what we call a PRO, where now we think pass first, run second, pass run option. How we're doing this is we simply chunk concepts, plays, calls, and cues all into one. So there's less to process. And then you'll see here how we scaffold the schemes to simplify the learning. Again, a good example is with O-line, we really have one rule that applies with all these families is it starts with are you covered or uncovered. All right, so the way we make complex blocking very simple is again, we're gonna break it down into these four families. So you can see to the left, uh, the first family is zone. We like to start there. And then you're going to do an outside and inside type attack. Again, we're outside in, starting outside so that we stretch the defense is kind of our focus. You can see then the RPO route family. So there's a name with that. It's the pass route for the receivers and the read key. And then we have themes for these RPOs so that when we communicate, it stays consistent throughout. Number two then is outside gap. And it's classic pin and pull sweep along with the waggles. And then number three is now kind of our counter game. We run a counter blast, which is an old ISO. And then you can go into a counter tray, a counter tag, which is a tackle on the guard now pulling. And then we finish up with classic A gap power. Additionally, then we use what's called a backdoor dart series where you use all the RPOs, but it's simply a way to attack away from the H-back using counter or dart action by the back. Number four then is your pass pro. And we keep that real simple um, where we've got sprint, screen, and then our half man slide pocket pro. All right, now then when we start to look at the teaching progression or installation, this is where we use a scaffolding of the concepts and schemes. What this means is, we're gonna use similar RPO and pass pro concepts when we install. And then each concept or scheme builds upon the next. So let's take a look how this works. You can see we're gonna start with our zone uh, RPOs. Again, we're gonna go outside first and inside second. So we'll do our stretch zone or outside zone. And then a natural pass pro uh, with that is the sprint pass game. Again, the O-line, for example, will use the same blocking technique with stretch zone RPO as they do with sprint pass pro. Then we'll go into our split zone, so we get our inside zone, and then we do what we call a now pocket pass, which is just our quick passing game. Number two, then, we'll build off of that is we'll go, again, outside, 
So we're going to go outside gap, sweep, pin, and pull. But a natural partner is just to run the waggles with that. Again, the O-line is going to use the same blocking techniques. It's just going to be one's an RPO and one is a run pass option. Number three then is then we'll get into our inside gap. And this is that blast play, which is just a simple counter ISO. We'll partner that now with our, our six and five man uh, uh, slide protection, which is our pocket pro, pro, and then finish up with one back power where we get into uh, uh, an Alabama throwback uh, concept. Again, you can see that it's a simple way to evolve the system, and there's a process with the chunking and the scaffolding to make the learning simple and sound. Thanks.